The date may tell us when it was made, but how long these camphor trees had to grow to yield planks of that kind and size, I don't know. Camphor wood planks that large are no longer obtainable, although the trees are abundant in Southeast Asia. A house must have windows and doors, but it must also have chairs to sit on and chests to store things in. In our quest for the furnishings of our home, we were led into the anteroom of the second-hand furniture store. In among the usual debris, we saw an old chest, massive in design, about five feet long, made, we have since learned, of camphor wood from China. One single slab, one inch thick, and 25 inches in length. If you should lose the key, said the shopkeeper, no one could open it. It was trimmed, as we thought, with wrought iron intricately designed bands. No, said the man, they are brass. Look at the mass of handles. See, he scratched a section with his knife. Under the crust, it is solid brass. By this time, as we smelled the fragrance of the camphor wood, our minds were afire. When we came to the plaque on the top, an intricate brass plate with the coat of arms of some ancient noble house with the fleur-de-lis, we fairly gasped. The date engraved on it is 1693. What do you ask for it? I don't know. You'll have to telephone my boss. He'll be here tonight. The following conversation took place that evening. What do you want for the old camphor chest? He replied briefly. Yes, we'll take it, and we'll be over soon with our deposit. It was not until the chest was brought to our door that we heard the whole tale. The dealer, after talking to us, had hung up the telephone, when into the shop walked a woman with a businesslike manner. I want your camphor chest, she said. It's already sold, he replied. Have you the deposit, she asked. No, but it is sold, he maintained. I will pay you double, she urged. Then she opened her purse and drew out her checkbook. Name your price. I tell you, he said quietly, it is sold. She folded her checkbook. I'll come back again for it. We had given no deposit, yet we wonder now as we look at the escutcheon in the shining brass plaque, was it only on the part of the dealer that honesty is the best policy? Or secretly, we ponder, may it not have been God? <laughs>